the current dairy has been in operation for, let's see, about since the early 80s, I think 84, 85, right around there sometime. Um, some of the facilities are starting to get wore out and um, they need to be upgraded and modernized. Um, so there's a group that started looking about ways that we could do this, what might be the next step. And somebody came up with the idea of doing a pasture-based dairy system. With that, we're having um, robotic milking that we've tied in with this. So not only will the cows go from being milked three times per day when we tell them, eating when we tell them, and everything, they'll go to deciding when they're going to eat. They'll decide when they're going to be milked throughout the day. The first robotic milker in, the, in Michigan opened up a couple weeks ago up near Port Huron. Um, but we'll have the second um, set of robots in the state. Um, and there's interest amongst other producers that I've talked to that are really excited to do it and they're waiting to see how things go here at KBS before they decide to spend um, $200,000 on a robot. <laughs> the benefits of the robots would be that um, you get, a whole, you get a lot of information from them. Every time the cow is milked, the robot will record her body weight. You'll know how much um, milk she produced. It's got some sensor, sensors in the um, tube, that will, in the lines and stuff that will tell you um, things about the quality of the milk. But probably the bigger benefit, the reason more people are interested in the robots, is that it frees up a lot of time for the dairy producers. They're very quiet, they're very calm. Um, dairy animals in general are pretty calm compared to a beef cow or just some other livestock species. But um, when you add the robotic milking to it, it's just that much calmer because the cows are always doing it kind of what they want. They're never getting pushed to, you know, to go up and be milked when they don't want to. The cow is completely enclosed on three sides and then the fourth side is just a gate that's holding her in. So the gate swings open, the cow walks in. So each cow has an electric identification tag, so the robot knows which cow that is, so that they can match up the weights and the milk production with each individual cow. Um, then there's a mechanical arm that will kind of swing out and underneath the cow, and it's also got some lasers, so you take these lasers then will identify and locate each of the teats, automatically attaches the um, cup, teat cups down there to milker. Once the um, machine senses that there's no more milk flowing from that individual teat, it'll automatically disconnect the um, milker and um, the arm swings out of the way, the gate opens up, she walks out.